Okay, well, we're into something a little different with the Slayer circuit and um, Kubikop, which is Paul, and me, Lid Motor, are really playing a lot with this uh, Jewel Thief and uh, Big Toroid and making it drive a CFL and charge. But what um, Paul Kubikop has come up with is why let this run all the time at high frequency? It's using lots of power when you don't need to. Why don't you just turn it on and off with a timer? Uh, at a slow enough frequency so that uh, your eye can't tell it, but this is off most of the time. And sure enough, he's uh, he's done it, and I've replicated it. So anyone who wants to get into this, uh, I highly recommend it. You take a 555 timer circuit, which is there, and you pulse the jewel thief. Now, this is the same thing that I tried over here with the CFL, and I use the same time timer circuit and I turned the ignition coil on and off to uh, make the CFL run and I did this way back in uh, uh, December 14th and it was a, an adaption of the Slayer idea too so anyway now Paul has come up with this idea and it works great you take a pulse wave modulator 555 timer and you pulse the jewel thief and then it's off most of the time um, or actually it's off half the time we're figuring out at a slow enough frequency to uh, cut the power consumption way down. Now this is the system running right now at low enough frequency for you to see the pulsing. Now this is the big two inch toroid that's actually running a CFL. Now, I can take that off if I want to. If I don't want to run that I can just blink those. Um, amp draw on the system right now is about 40 milliamps at 2.33 volts. I'm using a 12 volt supply here and um, this uh, is a being regulated by a voltage regulator here to be down like this and a lot of us are doing this. We're uh, using a, a steady state power supply and voltage regulating it down. I'll turn this uh, CFL part back on here. Now uh, this is the standard um, um, Slayer a circuit and you can go and look at his uh, circuit for this it's standard and this little uh, timer circuit right here is a standard 555 timer chip pulse wave modulator circuit it varies the frequency of the pulse and the duration of the pulse in a square wave and this is kind of what it looks like on the screen here I don't have this running uh, real well but you can see the the off time here and then the on time is at the top here off and on now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up so you cannot see it blink okay now that's coming up to the point where it's going to be on solid now and that's the waveform now you can see that what's going on here even though it looks like it's on all the time it's it's off part of the time. This is the time when it's on. This is the time when it's off. And this was Paul's great idea was to why run it all the time? Just run it uh, long enough so that your eyeball compensates, just like a 60 cycle bulb in your home. Uh, it doesn't run all the time either. It runs at 60 cycles per second. And he's figured out that around uh, 125 is a smoother point with better light. So that's kind of where. I've gone is a little bit higher frequency but this is where we're at this is this pulse wave modulator and uh, I'll turn this back down to where you can see it start to blink and what we try to do is just have this on long enough so it looks like it's on all the time and then save the power and uh, this works quite well I recommend anyone trying this this is a great idea and uh, this was Paul Paul's idea Kubikop's idea of using a pulse wave modulator um, a little timer circuit to run uh, run the CFL works quite well.